Hooray for Hattie Rabbit, story and pictures by Dick Gockenbach, an early I can read book. Summer Bedtime Bedtime! It is bedtime, Hattie's mother called out. When Hattie heard this, she hid in the closet. Hattie did not like to go to bed in the summertime. The days are long, and the sky is still bright and blue at bedtime. Hattie's mother found Hattie in the closet. Come out, she said. It is eight o'clock and time for bed. Oh, cried Hattie, do I have to? Yes, said Mrs. Rabbit, you need your rest. Hattie went upstairs to her room. She put on her nightgown. She could hear the birds still singing in the trees. What an awful time to go to bed, Hattie said to herself. Hattie pulled down the covers and got into her bed. She fluffed her pillows. She tossed and she turned. She pulled the covers over her head, but nothing worked. Hard as she tried, Hattie could not fall asleep. She got up and sat on the edge of her bed. It is no use, Hattie said with a sigh. Mrs. Rabbit walked into the room. She was surprised to find Hattie still awake. Why aren't you asleep, Mrs. Rabbit asked. You must be tired. You have had a busy day. I am tired, Hattie told her, but I cannot sleep. It looks like daytime in here. That is a problem, said Mrs. Rabbit. What can we do about it? If only I could see the moon, said Hattie. And it would help if I could see the stars too. Let me see what I can do, said Mrs. Rabbit. Mrs. Rabbit left the room. She came back with the shade some paint, and some brushes. After Mrs. Rabbit hung the shade, she painted a dark sky. Now paint the moon, said Hattie. Mrs. Rabbit painted a moon. And do not forget the stars, Hattie reminded her. Mrs. Rabbit painted twinkling stars. What else would you like, Mrs. Rabbit wanted to know. An owl in the tree, said Hattie. Mrs. Rabbit painted a tree with a night owl perched on a branch. Now the room was dark and cozy. Who, whispered Mrs. Rabbit, who, who should be in bed? Hattie did not answer. She was sound asleep. The game. Hattie went to visit her friend, Rosie Pig. Rosie had a frown on her face. What is the matter? Hattie asked her friend. I just asked my mother for a gumdrop, Rosie told Hattie. What did she say? asked Hattie. She said no, Rosie replied. She said it would ruin my teeth. Well, said Hattie, mothers usually say no. You can say that again, said Rosie. I have a good idea, Hattie told Rosie. Let's play a game. We will ask your mother questions. The first one to get her to say yes wins. That sounds like fun, Rosie agreed. She is my mother, so I go first. Okay, said Hattie. Rosie went into the kitchen. Mother, she said, may I go to the movies? Not today, said Mrs. Pig. Rosie returned to the porch. Mother said not today. Good try, said Hattie. Now it is my turn. Hattie went into the house. Mrs. Pig, she said, may Rosie and I have pizza for lunch? No, said Mrs. Pig. We have tuna fish. Hattie told Rosie what Mrs. Pig said. That was not even close, said Rosie. Let me try again. Rosie picked a zinnia and gave it to her mother. Thank you, said Mrs. Pig. Then Rosie asked Mother, may I have a party? Maybe, 
said Mrs. Pig. How about on Saturday? Rosie suggested. I will have to think about it, was Mrs. Pig's reply. Nice try, said Hattie. Oh, cried Rosie, let's give up. Not yet, said Hattie. Give me one more chance. I can make her say yes. I just know it. Hattie went to see Mrs. Pig again. Rosie waited. She wondered what Hattie had in mind. Soon Hattie called from the kitchen. Come on in, Rosie. Your mother said yes. Rosie was delighted. She ran as fast as she could. Mrs. Pig was all smiles. Rosie pulled Hattie aside. What did you ask her? She whispered to Hattie. I ask your mother, said Hattie, if we may brush our teeth. Oh, moaned Rosie, blah, and fooey. Don't complain, said Hattie, it worked, and I won. Before they brushed their teeth, Mrs. Pig gave them each a gumdrop.